Wrist control, wrist escapes. Sounds like Bullshito, kinda. Uh, grab my wrist, you know, and then they do like some shit where they, you know, make the, like, hey, like flip so that yeah. your wrist doesn't break. <laughs> at no point try to snatch your hand back or like punch me in the face at the same time. <laughs> doesn't work that way. But wrist control and wrist escapes are an important part of real fighting. Let's look at it from here because this might be a little easier to understand at first when you're trying to learn it. I want to imagine that I'm taking like a rod or like a screwdriver. A screwdriver, yeah. Like someone took a screwdriver and went in between your little, ooh, God, that, think about it. And in between these bones, right? So now I can't move this way and this way, which wouldn't help me anyway. Like if I tried to pull, I, I'm never going to, you're never going to get out of here like this. Maybe a sign kick. Right, that'd be flipping sweet, mm -hmm. right? Um, you're never gonna get out of this. We have to rotate over to get this, but to kind of understand how this works, we wanna go, right, obviously like here is kind of like the way out, right? And we wanna kind of rotate, if there's four guys over here and one guy over here, this, this is kind of the guy we're gonna attack. Even though the thumb's kind of strong, I wanna think about attacking this way. So I'm gonna take my elbow and push it towards him and push my thumb towards my shoulder. So don't just lift up or down or pull or push. I got a screwdriver stuck through here. I can't move this. I wanna rotate around that axis. So I have to actually push my elbow towards him like that. that this is the part people miss. People do this and it'll come free. Mm -hmm. You'll get it loose, hold tight, right? Right, but it yeah. requires a lot of muscle and me to compromise my structure maybe. Uh, hold real tight. If I really wanna snatch it free, you know what I mean? That's not, you should be able to see that and tell why that's not what to do. Boom, I got that rod through there. I can only rotate. I rotate. He has to let go. Hold super tight. All right. Hold super tight. Yeah. You're so, he's so much stronger than me. Like, if you can't look at him and tell he's stronger than me. But he literally cannot hold super tight. You can't. It's impossible. Yeah. And if done violently, don't hold too tight because I don't want to hurt your thumb. If done violently... It's going to start, it'll hurt the thumb, it could sprain the thumb. Um, when you're training this, don't, you don't have to do a bunch of reps super tight because it'll start to hurt. The best way to start with learning uh, wrist escapes is to have them grab your hands like this. The reason we do it like this and not, for instance, like this is because your hands should never be here. Like, it's, like if this happened, we learn it, but you've made some mistakes. You should spend much more time checking wrist you know, escapes and controls like this rather than down here. The easiest way to do it is to circle. Elbow goes up, hand goes down like this, rotate around and grab and always at least push it back towards them if not grabbing it yourself. The reason we push it back in is because if I can make this acute, which this is acute arm, but if I can make this angle acute, he loses a lot of strength. You can't press from here as efficiently as you can press if he were out here and start to push, he's much stronger there. Also too, if you ever wanna make someone really weak and you wanna feel really strong, if you stretch this all the way out, if I hang on this and stretch it all the way out, and you guys see this position, Nate Diaz uses this position, um, Daniel Cormier uses a lot of wrist control, you see it in high level combat sports, and if I stretch this out, now try to like get loose and pull it loose. It takes a couple extra seconds before he gets loose. Whereas if I grab here and he snatches this free, it's coming right out. So you either want to push it all the way to him or stretch it all the way out. Right in here is where we're strongest. It's just like if you're doing like flexed arm hang or you know anything isometric, obviously it's easier about halfway through the range of motion. I'm not gonna grab Jay and hold him for any amount of time. I'm not gonna like be able to really hold on. I like to refer to it more like checking the hand than actually like controlling it. So we're like fighting and I'm just sort of like checking the hand like this to get a reaction. Cause in this moment, he can't punch me, but I can punch him. You know, I can pop this down and punch, pop this down an elbow, uh, pop this down and pummel for an underhook or body lock. Um, I'll link at the end, I'll link a takedown from this position. This is just a, you know, we're kind of moving around and I'm just kind of checking his wrists. Um, if he does it to me, I need to immediately start like circling and getting my, keep my hands loose like this and not let him get a hold of them. The best time to escape is 
before it happens. The second best time is like right as it happens, if you let him get a good solid grip and then try to get loose, that's much harder. In an open stance situation like this, where if one of you is a southpaw, one of you is an orthodox, if I'm just constantly checking this hand, I can safely predict. That, and now, of course, some dumb shit is going to be like, no, I would just like grab my wrist. I would just like do like this. <laughs> like, yeah, if I would do this, you would do that. But who knows? Um, now, if you want a cool little trick to get to this position, like if you want to know like how I get here safely, I just did a video with Sensei Seth on how to use your kicks to set up this wrist grab. So I will link that up there as well as the end of the video. So when you do it, you want to go go elbow up sky high, mm -hmm. rotate around, grab and push it back towards them. Okay. If you just snatch them down, like grab my wrist, if you just snatch it down, it'll come out. Mm -hmm. But then like your face is open. Like if I, I if we're say, fighting yeah. and I snatch this hand loose you in this moment, yeah, I have to get my hand back in play. Um, one little way that I like to do it when they have two is I hook and grab this and strip it off like this. Their instinct will be to try to get this hand again, and then they usually give me this hand. And then I'm off to the, the other stuff that I want to do, this thing from before. Um.